Raz, I'm Tracy Metro coming to you live from the 12th Annual Global Green Millennium Awards. These awards are designed to honor those who've committed their lives to making all of our lives more secure. And I say, cheers to that. Ika Rossi TV with one of our very, very favorite green girls, Anna <laughs> Getty. All right, what's going on with you? What's going on with me? Um, I'm just finishing up literally my, um, my, my green Christmas book. It's due in five days, so I'm a little stressed out right now, but happy to be here. What's the best tip you can give us for making a very green Christmas? Uh, I don't, buy a real tree. <laughs> really? Tell me, why buy a real tree? <laughs> this time, we're talking about Christmas now. Christmas trees are being planted for a reason, and you know, fake trees are, you know, plastic Soulless. and PVC, and you know, there's myriad reasons not to get them. Plant a tree for every. Christmas tree you get. You know, See, plant 10 trees for every Christmas tree. Now that's what I'm talking about in terms of tips. See, you gotta buy the book when it comes out. When's it come out? 2009. <laughs> okay, well I'm for this Christmas, <laughs> you heard it here first, <laughs> buy a real tree, plant 10. Why Global Green? You know, listen, there's a lot of amazing green organizations out there and I think Global Green is, the, the programs that they do are actually happening. And I just think that they're an, an organization that makes stuff happen. So you're now having this whole green section oh, yes. on your website. What made you do it? Well, we felt it was something that we wanted to do from the beginning, from when we started. And just that we are adding verticals little by little. And we are all passionate about green. You know, I've been speaking and writing about it since um, 2001 when I gave up my Lincoln Navigator and got a Toyota Prius. So uh, this was like the next step. We were trying to do green with an attitude and with a sense of humor and with fun writing. So Ed Bagley, hi honey. Nice, nice to see you, you and me too. And Marty. I'm telling you, you, me, and Marty. Marty Metro That's from right. Used Cardboard Boxes. Hermano. All right, tell us how Bagley's Best is doing, because it's the best. You're very kind. It's a wonderful non-toxic cleaning product. They're selling at Whole Foods, lots of other places. Sell it online at Begley'sBest.com. And it's, uh, I'm trying to do what Paul Newman did in a very large way, which is to have good products and give a lot of money to charity. And both things are occurring. You know we write about you all the time. Ikarazzi is tops. It's the number one place to get your information about the environment. Ikarazzi, no place else. Go there, nowhere else. Excellent. Global Green. Why Global Green? Well, Matt is great. He's been doing this for years, had wonderful events like this. They get Gorbachev to come and all that. That was always wonderful, but then they went on to another level. They the Green Resource Center in Santa Monica. So if you're doing a remodel, a new construction, you can see all the bamboo floor and the SIP, you know, kind of stuff and all the different, you know, uh, sustainable materials. You got that. Tell me about Planet Green, your relationship with Planet Green. Uh, I did a show on Home and Garden Television. Now I'm told that my show is on Planet Green and I'm embarrassed to say I haven't really seen it yet, but I will. I have trouble finding it. I would try to find it at 218 on my Time Warner cable and it wasn't there. There was a channel was off. Damn Time Warner cable! I don't know what's Damn happening. you Time Warner cable! They're fine <laughs> folks, but where's my 218? Where's my uh, global, my planet, planet green? green? Yeah, not global. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Global Green's right there. Okay. Planet Green, channel disoriented. 218. When they're shooting a film, what's the biggest mistake a production company makes that is particularly unenvironmental, if that is such a word? Well, I would, I, I'm thinking more about what they can do that's positive than what mistakes they do. And that's really okay. why, why Emma was started in the first place. If you're just panning a kitchen and showing recycling bins is a, is a subliminal message in, in a film or a, uh, a television show. So there are a lot of things that writers and, and producers can incorporate into their films. Congratulations on your award tonight. Thank you very How does much. it feel? Well, what does very, it make? I'm very excited. It's a real honor. I mean, this is a wonderful organization, Global Green. They um, they do such important work. Um, we all need affordable housing, sustainable housing, really based on Bill McDonough's cradle to cradle philosophy. A lot of it, and uh, that's uh, that's really the future. That's the way we have to go. So say something nice about Ikarazzi, because well, you know you love Ikarazzi. You guys, you know, you put a little fun into the environmental message and make it fresh and fun to follow. And Ikarazzi does a great job of covering environmental issues and talking not just about what the celebrities are doing, but what, you know, what popular culture's doing. There's a lot of environmental causes. Why you? Well, you know, people should be involved in whatever environmental cause speaks to them, but our approach is a little different. We are actually, the, 
only environmental group that I know that's building affordable housing in this country. We, we're trying to take risks to, to try to take different approaches. We are uh, later this year going to announce and launch a coastal cities and climate change initiative, leveraging our work in New Orleans to continue to help the people of New Orleans rebuild more energy efficiently, sustainably, and green. Uh, but at the same time, show how that's the first city we're going to lose to sea level rise, and how do we uh, wake people up? I mean, with all the information, with EcoRotzi, with all the great information sources out there, people are still asleep. Wake them up! Here's the alarm ring, clock ring, to ring, ring, ring. <laughs> bzz, bzz, bzz. Exactly to wake you up. <laughs> it's about engaging as well. And maybe not buying. Maybe buying less. Maybe not buying. Maybe choosing not to buy or have a craft project. Oh wait, 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 wait! You just totally gave me a great segue, and then I'll pass it on. You know, you just gave me such an amazing layup. I, I can't deny this. So this is a craft project. This is taking one of your old wife beater undershirts and you turn that into a bag and it says recycled white trash. Tell me what you think about that, my brother. Nothing like a wife beater becoming uh, my next bag to take my uh, groceries home in. I love it. <laughs> Yay! White trash. It's perfect. Everybody should find a craft project to make something sustainable out of it. Wife beater or not. I just want to get the rock and roll sleeveless t-shirts I had too. Tell me what you want to tell me. I'm crazy about you. <laughs> Norman Lear's crazy yeah. about Tracy Metro? I'll take that to the bank. <laughs> tell you, I don't know what you can get at the bank for it. But... <laughs> Fashion. Yeah, actually, there's a, <laughs> there's a there's a store up the road, and they make stuff out of bamboo, and I've been really getting into that, but not consciously, only because it's really comfortable, and it's just such a good alternative. But uh, yeah, I'm completely down with that as well. So, you know. So tell me uh, about Global Green. Why Global Green for you? There's well, so many eco organizations out there. Why this one in particular? Well, it's, it's really simple. There's nothing particular. I had friends who are involved and. Um, you know, I just heard them talking about it and as a result I felt inspired to actually try to do something and educate myself. Really no different from the average person who just needs to feel that something needs to be done. What's like the most th thing that grates on your nerves that when somebody like, if it's, you know, not recycling or not carrying, uh, you know, reusable bags, what's the thing that bums you out the most that people don't do? One thing if you can't actually go and get a hybrid or a Prius or, you know, electric car, but, you know, cars that have huge exhaust emissions that come out, and a lot of them seem to be public transport, I have to say. You get stuck behind, like, a, a bus, but nothing infuriates me more. I think it's disgusting when you see big black clouds of smoke coming out the back. Like Perfect, a thank you so much. Toxic fart. <laughs> We've got Steve Connell here, and he's going to do some slam poetry because he's actually going to be performing tonight. So set your jaw tight and put the fight in your eyes. This ain't the time for tired. This ain't the time to quit. Now is the time to chomp at the bit, to spit, cuss, kick up some dust. We have to get vocal causes seen. Time to put energy into getting new energy, getting our global green. So we take the earth back to a time when it didn't hold treasure. It was treasure for being our home. Peace out, my brother. And that, my friends, is the Raz.